This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. This video is gonna be slightly different in the sense that there's gonna be no dash cam footage. Um, so if, this, if that's not your thing, probably switch off now, but I am gonna be talking a lot to the camera. I'm gonna be showing you what I got going on. I'm gonna be showing you where I'm going, uh, where I'm loading, things like that. Uh, and the reason being is because it's gonna be 100% edited on my phone. And the reason why that is gonna be the case is because this weekend I get the keys to my house and I quite frankly don't, I don't have enough time to edit a full on video on my computer. So I need to edit it on my phone, on, on the go, so to speak, whilst parked up, uh, having a break or something like that, uh, rather than having a full on computer at home doing it. So hopefully you don't mind. Um, but yeah, here we are. We are, where are we? <laughs> we're in Wiz Beach. We're in Wiz Beach and we're trying to get loaded with timber. Now, we did actually turn up yesterday, but uh, it was too late, they were shut, so we had to park up around the corner. Uh, we got here this morning at quarter past six, it's quarter to nine now, and we only just started to reload it. Uh, when we turned up at quarter past six, we were second in the queue. So like I said, quarter to nine now, so we were waiting two and a half hours from um, getting at the gate first thing this morning to actually being let in and, and starting being loaded. Two and a half hours. We're not even loaded yet. We're just starting to be loaded. Um, that's fine. Um, nothing I can do about it. We just do what we could do, get loaded as soon as we get loaded and crack on. We're taking this to Farringdon, uh, Webb and Son in Farringdon. Been there loads of times before. Um, so it's easy enough to get to. I know where I'm going, it's all good. Right, so the first lot is on. It's a bit of an awkward size. I don't think one strap's gonna be enough. Uh, so we're gonna have to put two straps, which means we're gonna be using a lot of straps on this load if it's all the same. It could be like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, maybe not. But yeah, we're gonna put two straps over anyway. So let's do that. And then we just grab them on this side, put them over. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think one strap's gonna be enough. So we will, uh, we double strap each one. Lovely. Now, eagle-eyed eagle -eyed viewers may realize or notice that my last video regarding the 999 call has been taken down. I don't wanna get into details about it, but basically the company we were doing the work for were not happy with some of my comments. Um, so I was asked to take the video down and if I'm asked to take the video down I will what's going on with this? essentially I said something along the lines of and it was wrong I shouldn't have said it I said something along the lines of if they want to ban me go ahead I'll be banned from everywhere else well they banned me didn't they? Um, not only did they ban me, they banned Harry and Sons as well, which is not good. Uh, luckily, they managed to keep, well, they managed in the end they, to, to keep Harry and Sons on as a haulier, but uh, yeah, I've been banned. So, yeah, it's not good. At the time I said I don't care, I do care. I don't want to get banned from places. Because... Um, the more places I'm banned from, the less likely hood of me keeping or staying in employment. So it's not good. Uh, so I suspect whoever at the range, because someone at the range dobbed me in basically. So whoever it was, you, you had every right to. I'm not mad. I shouldn't have said what I said. It's done now, we can just move on. But um, yeah, another place I'm banned from not good so yeah I do want to apologize to uh, well mostly to Harry and Sons for putting them in an awkward situation um, but yeah also sorry to the range uh, I was uh, I thought I was being clever and I wasn't I was, I was being silly I was being stupid um, shouldn't have said it shouldn't have said uh, I don't care if I'm banned because I do care 
and uh, if I'm honest, it's made me uh, well, it's made me feel a bit rubbish for the last two days, for two or three days since this happened. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like to lie. I, I like to tell the truth, and it's it's not great being banned from places. So, yeah, never mind. We can uh, just crack on with places that we're not banned from. Um, but I do need to be careful because. Any more places and uh, well, I'm out of a job, basically, so, yeah. And that's not a joke, by the way. Um, I have I've been given an official warning at Harry and Sons uh, for being banned from too many places. And um, if, if I get banned from one more, I could be dismissed. So um, yeah, it's not funny. And I am genuinely sorry. Um, yeah, I love working for Harry and Sons and um, the fact that I could potentially lose and work makes me feel like crap, if I'm honest with you. You know, it does make me question whether I deserve to even be here. Um, the last thing I want to do is upset anyone at Harry and Sons. I love them. Like they're, it's, it's like family. Um, it, it might sound sad. <laughs> Starting to get a bit emotional here. <laughs> um, it might it might sound it might sound sad because it's like it is like family and. Um, I don't want to lose my job. Who wants to lose their job? I don't want to lose my job. So, yeah, I've got to be careful what I film. And what, more more particularly, what I say. Because in my last video, um, I said I'm not allowed to film on site because I'm filming off site. But it was more, it was more what I said on camera whilst off site. I think that's what got people's backs up. So, yeah. Just gotta be careful, man. Be careful. I actually got a really nice message off my boss saying that they don't want to lose me. Just be careful. Don't be silly. I genuinely thought they were going to stop me to, or ask me to stop filming. Um, I thought that was going to be the case. Yeah, I thought they were going to ask me to stop doing any more videos, but that hasn't been the case. They've just said be careful. They don't want to lose me. But if I leave them with no option, then um, you know what can I do? They damaged this bit of wood. Look. Yeah, for the record, that was damaged before. See, it's awkward because like that could fall off during transit that could fall off during transit and cause damage so do i just rip it off but then i broke it then it's halfway hanging off anyway it's literally held on by a thread or two so that's what we're looking like so far we've got these uh trellises going on at the back end i believe i think that's going on the back that's what we're looking like so far. We're less than the cab. The cab is about 4.1 meters. So we're less than the height of the cab, which means we're safe to run at 4.2. It's what I normally run at just to be safe. I have measured the top of the cab and it said 4.1, but I go 4.2 just to give me an extra bit of leeway. And um, I've said before, if I can visually see that it's not taller than the cab, then I just leave it at 4.2. But if it is near or above, then I will measure it with my height stick, which is in, uh, which is in the truck. Right, we're getting there. We've got these buggers on now. These are awkward. Uh, they double stack them and they move like hell. I'm going to be doing these two straps up as tight as I can. Once we finish loading, we've got to go down there and grab our paperwork. We're going to be going on some rocky road. I guarantee it moves. I'm going to do it up as tight as I can now. And then I'll show you later. Get paperwork and they'll be loose. So, uh, that's literally as tight as I can do that one up. Let's do this one up. I've not done this one up tight yet. That is as tight as I can do it up. Wait until we get our paperwork and it'll be loose again, guaranteed. Which is fine, it's just where it settles. We'll do that when we, uh, when we stop. Right, we are loaded. I'll just show you the load now, look. So we're fully loaded, well, not actually fully loaded. There's a bit of a gap in the back. We're fully strapped up, good to go. So I'll just show you what I've done. Two straps over each one, basically. Those brown uh, fence posts, they are gonna move before we get to our paperwork. So like I said, we'll, uh, we'll do them back up in a second, make sure they're all tight. And then we've got them on the back. Two straps. So yeah, we're good to go. Let's go grab the paperwork. Like I said, these are tight at the moment. <laughs> I fully expect them to be loose momentarily, just while the wood settles. So yeah, we're just driving out now. Uh, we are on private road. Well, there's no seatbelt, but we've got some bumps to deal with. 
and there's these sort of bumps which are going to make the timber sort of move and wobble around and as it moves and wobbles around the individual posts settle within within the pack so to speak so you eventually get a little bit of slack on the strap so that's why it's good sometimes just weave around weave around a little bit make the load shift <laughs> essentially got another bump coming up so that once you do get on the road you've got it as tight as it can be because it's not going to come loose i always do this with the timber strap it up move around a little bit re-strap it i don't mean re-strap it in the sense that you take the strap off you just give it a couple more clicks on the uh, on the old ratchet right let's go and uh, check these straps okay have they come loose at all remember they were tight They haven't come loose that much. Haven't said that, remember, I did do them up as tight as I could. Got two more clicks out of that. Two more clicks out of that. Let's check these two. Uh, show. Two, four, six, seven. We've got seven more clicks out of it just by making the load shift a little bit. Uh, hopefully, that'll do us now for the whole journey it's a three hour journey to uh, to Frangden, which is where we're going so yes we are loaded we're just waiting for the uh for the paperwork she's just checking the load now we're done outside we've done all the straps unless they say something's wrong which is plausible has happened we should be done if something is wrong we've got to go back in and get it offloaded again Get that aircon on. Here we go, my paperwork's coming over to us now. Or we're being told we've got something wrong on. <laughs> One or the other. All good? No. Two packs short. Two packs short. Lovely. Alright. Yeah, I'll put it all back on. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> so, so, something is wrong, so uh, back out we go. Let's find out what exactly is uh, is wrong. Right, let's go. Okay, so what I, from what I can gather, we need two more of these put on. So, um, yeah, you can just put them on the back end, I think. I think that's the best plan. Right, so that's the last two on the back now. I'm just gonna throw the straps over and then we'll be good to go. Okay, try again. <laughs> just waiting for the paperwork. Thank you. No problem. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy your holiday. Bye bye. Um, cool. Yeah, Web and Sun. I know where we're going. Lovely. Really, really, really friendly place here. I, yeah. She's a lovely lady lovely lady right anyway we're loaded we're strapped let's get out of here there's a big old queue one truck two truck <laughs> three truck four truck there's four trucks waiting to get in really busy really busy Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Like I said, it's a good, uh, it's a good three-hour drive to where we need to be. Our ETA is ten to one. Uh, we don't need a break on the way down because we literally stayed in Wisbeach last night. Um, so yeah, we parked up about five o'clock. Started at six o'clock this morning. Got here for quarter past six, and um, 
It's quarter to ten now and we're just leaving. <laughs> What's that? A couple of six, seven, eight, nine, three and a half hours? <laughs> quite a while you're in the getting left so uh yeah quite a while but we're leaving now so it's all gravy baby right i'll see you once we're in swindon essentially that's where found it is see you in a bit hey this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by malcolm green i promise you if you want to know anything regarding hgvs or, or working hours or anything like that then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it uh, and if you are already a hgv driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills the essential new truckers handbook by malcolm green link in the description down below go buy yourself a copy now okay you join me about three hours later just about to turn into the place we're delivering to. Is it this right? I think it's this right. Yes. Yes, we're going in here. Just waiting for this car to go. Lovely. Let's see where they want me. Good afternoon. Not too bad, how are you? Got a, got a delivery for you, yeah, all yours. Sweet, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Right, in here we go. Right, it's all in one piece. Let's check these, uh, these bad boy straps, see if they've come loose at all. Yeah, a little bit, not much. They're still on, so that's the main thing. They're all on. This one might come loose a bit. Yeah, that one come loose. It happens, the uh, the timber shifts. You do it up as tight as you can, but they shift. But yeah, it's all on still, so it's all good. Right, let's get these straps off. Right, all straps are on. It's very windy here. Uh, we're just waiting for someone to come over to us now to, uh, well, to start taking us all off, basically. Got paperwork in my pocket. Uh, let's put that back in. So yeah, we're just waiting. So from here, we could be sent anywhere from here. We're in Farringdon, which is uh, it's just outside Swindon. So it's not too far away from our base. So yeah, we could be sent uh, Trep in Swindon, perhaps, which could be anywhere. The delivery we could be sent to Melcorp, Tetbury that could go anywhere from like Cornwall to Yorkshire. We could be sent back to B Wright, which is our old yard, get loaded with timber or even bolt bags. Uh, we could be sent to BMI, get loaded with something the tiles, which would most likely be something uh, sort of near the M25, that's where most of that goes. So it's like <laughs> I like to like I like to guess on what I'm doing next, but because we're in Farringdon, there is so many places nearby that we get loaded from. That it's actually just really hard to call. If I'm going to guess, I'm going to say BMI Redlands, um, but I have zero evidence to to back that up as to why I think that's going to be that. It's just just literally a pure guess. <laughs> right, it's being offloaded now, look. So we're just going to go jump in the truck. When he's done, he can bring us the paperwork and we can crack on. I have messaged the boss to ask what we're doing next. Just waiting for a reply. Um, so we'll be tipped here probably within the next sort of 30 minutes, I would have thought. So we'll see where we're going in a sec. Okay, I have received a message from the boss and the message said, don't know yet. <laughs> he said to uh, message him once I am tipped and I'm ready to leave. Um, and then he can, and then he let me know. Apparently there's, uh, there's some issues. I uh, don't know what that means, but not, none of my business. All I gotta do is let them know once I'm tipped. So when uh, when the last one or two is coming off, yeah, he ain't even touched this side yet. It's all that side so far. When the last one or two are left, no, I send him another message saying, right, I'm just about to be finished up, mate. Where, where are we going? And then he can tell me. Okay, we are unloaded, fully empty, ready to go, but we're still waiting on um, on what we gotta do next. So I've asked if I can just sit tight here for a second, and they've said, yeah, it's fine. So um, as soon as I know what we're doing, we can then crack on. Right, I'm, uh, I don't like wasting time, <laughs> so I'm going to make a call. I'm going to head towards Swindon, Swindon truck stop in particular, and I'm going to wait there. 
because everything I could think of is that direction. So we're going to get moving basically and uh, probably en route head to the correct direction. So I am going to go and uh, I'll see you wherever we end up. <laughs> okay, we have just arrived at our delivery, sorry, collection point. We are at BMI Redlands, like I anticipated. Uh, we've got to go load for Exeter. To grab our token. Lovely. So yeah, there she is. Empty. We're going to go and get loaded now. Got to put the token into the barrier. Thank you. Go up. Yeah, barrier's going up. Right, let's go get loaded. So we might have been a bit lucky, you know, because it's only 10 past two in the afternoon and um doesn't look like there's anyone in here that i can see so we should be loaded and strapped up by around about three o'clock i would have thought and it's got to go to exeter which is a good two and a half hours away which means obviously it won't get there today i won't be there until like six o'clock this evening obviously they're shut so i've already phoned them up and i've asked them what's the earliest that they can tip me in the morning because i've been to this one before it's roof base in exeter you won't see it on this video but there's a there's a lot there's not a lot of room at all there's there's hardly any room in fact and um so i phoned them up to see whether they can get me in early and they've said no the earliest they can get me in is nine o'clock in the morning 9 a.m so um yeah <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit rubbish but i've poured well, I wouldn't say poured, but I've, it's good for me as a driver because now I get to go home today early and I'll be, I'll be back in the yard. Maybe half past three, quarter to four, something like that. I'll be home by like half past four, the latest. As a driver, that's good for me. And because it hasn't got to be there until 9 a.m. and there's no room for me, I don't need to leave the yard till six o'clock either. So yeah, it's good for, for me as a driver because I get to finish early and I get to start relatively late tomorrow. Or mm, 6 a.m. I'll be wanting to leave by. It's not late. It's sort of normal. There's no early start, which is what I was anticipating. I was I was thinking I'd go home tonight and leave at like 4 a.m. or something. But now you know I get a couple of extra hours in bed. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, I've lucked out a little bit there. I think on that one. Not gonna complain. Right, we're currently sat on our bed because we have to be sat here whilst they load us. So there you go. Look all being put on happy days once it's all loaded we'll uh we'll crack on down there we'll strap up put corner boards on grab our paperwork and then uh back to the yard basically um yeah nice early finish for me um it is wednesday today i've not been home all week uh left work monday morning um two nights away go back home tonight so it'd be nice to go home spend tonight in my own bed that'd be nice and uh well talking of beds i probably uh i don't know whether i should say this or not but here's my bed i'm sat on it so it doesn't look the nicest because my my bum makes an imprint <laughs> um i don't know how do i word this uh i won't be sleeping in this bed for much longer let's say let's leave it at that <laughs> take that as you will also uh, I have lost a little bit of weight. Some of you may have noticed, some of you may not have noticed. Um, I am trying to lose weight. And uh, one of the reasons I'm losing weight is because I'm using Y food. And I'm not just saying that because they pay me to say it. Uh, I genuinely am drinking Y food during the day uh, rather than trying to eat junk crap and like rubbish food, basically. 500 calories in the bottle. If you are interested, use my code. It's LukeC-YouTube. You get 10% off. Uh, link in the description down below all that good stuff you know what it's about but yeah my food this one's a mango one it's really nice uh they've got tons of flavors recommend checking them out um quite a few people have bought them via my link so thank you very much uh and hopefully i can continue losing weight um fingers crossed <laughs> okay so this is the load that we're taking strapped up all corner boarded up as well i'll show you the other side okay all corner boarded up on this side as well so yeah, man, we are good to go. So for anyone who wants to know sort of like how long it takes to actually do all that, strap it all up, corner board it, it takes me roughly 15 minutes uh, to do that, which ain't too shabby. Um, I know people that could take, in, take half an hour to do it. Uh, so we get on with it, we get it done. Only take half an hour. So yeah, early finish for me today. So what time is it now? Can't be much after three. My watch has died. What time is it? I'll have to look at my phone. 
Okay, it's five to three. It's not even three o'clock yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna head back to the yard and then we're gonna go home. So thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Sorry, it's one of these where it's all on the phone. Thing is, what, what some of you might not understand is it, it takes a long time to edit a video uh, at home. We're talking at least a couple of hours, at least. Then I got to render it, then I got to upload it. And this particular video that you're watching right now, all of it up until the last two or three clips, I've already edited. It's been edited in the software on the phone whilst I'm stationary, whilst I'm, whilst I'm loading, led down on the bed. I'm recording the clips where I'm led down on the bed and then I'm going into the editing software and I'm putting it on. Um, so they're like, all I got to do now is finish this clip, quickly edit two or three clips, and then hit the render button and drive. <laughs> and then by the time I get to the yard, it'll be rendered. And then I can upload to YouTube uh, whilst at the yard, let it upload whilst I'm driving home. And um, with very minimal effort then essentially, I've not really lost any time in the day because it's all been done whilst I'm at work uh, and, and essentially rendering and whatnot's been done while I'm driving. So it just makes it a lot easier for me. So. I do thank you for being patient. Uh, it's not going to be a long-term thing. It's literally whilst I'm busy on the weekends, because like I said, we get the keys to our house uh, on Friday, which is um, the day after tomorrow. Uh, and we're, we're dead looking forward to, to getting those keys. And we're going to be, for the, next, for the next few weeks, we're going to be a little bit busy. I'm still going to try and get videos out, uh, like normal ones. On my laptop right now in my cab, I've got a video that needs editing. So on the next night out, as long as I don't finish too late, and I've not done like a 15 hour shift, or I don't feel ill, for example, like yesterday, I had a bang in their day, I put on social media, I was gonna edit a video, um, but I just didn't feel up for it, which is why today I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, there will be normal vlogs as well, but it just, this just helps fill in the gaps, so to speak. So yeah, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.